Mastering the Kitchen, Cooking Techniques in English. Hello there, welcome back to our series on evening routines and household chores. Today, we're focusing on a very exciting and useful topic, meal preparation and cooking, specifically the various cooking techniques you might use while preparing your dinner. Cooking can be a fun, creative process, and knowing the right English words and phrases will help you navigate recipes and communicate your culinary skills more effectively. Let's get started. Before you can master the art of cooking, you need to know the basic techniques. Here are some common terms you'll likely encounter. Boiling. This is when you heat water or another liquid until it reaches its boiling point and starts to evaporate. It's a common technique for cooking pasta, vegetables, and eggs. Frying. This involves cooking food in hot oil or fat. We often distinguish between deep frying, where the food is completely submerged in oil, and pan frying, where the food is in a shallow layer of oil. Baking. This is a method of cooking food by surrounding it with hot air in an oven. We often bake bread, pastries, and certain types of meat. Grilling. This involves cooking food on a grill, where the heat source is below the food. It's a popular method for cooking meat and vegetables. Roasting. Similar to baking, this method involves cooking food in an oven or on a spit over fire. The difference is that roasting is often used for larger pieces of meat, and the goal is to brown the surface of the food for added flavor. Not only is it important to know these cooking technique terms, but it's also crucial to know how to describe the process. Let's look at a few examples. When you're boiling something, you might say, boil the water before adding the pasta. When you're frying something, you could say, fry the onions until they are golden brown. If you're baking a cake, you might tell someone, bake the cake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. When you're grilling, you might advise, grill the steak on high heat for five minutes on each side. For roasting, a typical instruction might be, roast the chicken in the oven at 375 degrees for an hour and a half. Well, that wraps up our lesson on cooking techniques in English. I hope you found these terms and phrases helpful as you continue your journey to become fluent in conversational English, especially within the context of meal preparation and cooking. Keep practicing, and soon enough, you'll be cooking up a storm and chatting about it confidently in English. Remember, practice makes perfect. Stay tuned for more lessons on household chores and responsibilities. Until next time, happy learning and happy cooking.